Let's bring in Leo Terrell, civil rights attorney and Fox News contributor. Leo, good to have you with us today. Um, we've seen a number of examples across the country of why this deterioration may be happening, and I want to get into some of those with you. But just your, your top-line reaction to this continuing shift in the political demographic in this country. Very simply, uh, thank you for having me, Martha. The Democrat playbook is outdated. The message is old. This country is not systemically racist. And so when Joe Biden goes into a black church every four years, uh, that's not going to signal the black community to vote for the Democrats or go to the Hispanic community. It's the Democrat policies uh, Martha, uh, it's, a, it's a Democrat's policy on immigration, law and order, uh, the economy, inflation. Those things affect black Americans. And black Americans and Hispanics are saying those policies are hurting us. And the Trump effect is in play. You, this decline is because many African American Hispanics feel that they had a better standard of living during the Trump administration. And Trump, being a, a wealthy millionaire, is talking about those issues, talking about immigration, talking about gas prices. One last point. You look at the effect of immigration on Democratic cities, blacks and Hispanics. It's, it is creating a tension in those communities, and that's why you see this shift. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Um, I, I want to play this from Mayor Eric Adams, because it seems, and we also have an example from Brandon Johnson, if we get to it, the Chicago mayor, in a sort of a similar vein. And it, it, it appears that there's an effort among some Democratic leaders to, to continue to remind black voters of, of where their alliance should, should be, in their opinion. This is Eric Adams uh, in New York a few days ago, January 31st. Watch. Have you ever seen this much chocolate leading the city of New York? That's why people are hating on me. How many of you go to church? Ma'am, this is a Matthew 21 and 12 moment. Jesus walked in the temple. He saw them doing wrong in the temple. He did what? He turned the table Came over. over. I went to City Hall to turn the table over. Leo, what do you think? Uh, Marta, thank you for that question. You know who's hating on him? Blacks? whites, Hispanics, everyone, regardless of color. You know why? Because the city's in turmoil. That's a perfect example of why blacks and Hispanics and all people are rejecting Democrat policies. Look at what's happening in, 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 in New York, in Chicago. I want to be very clear. I, I've been a civil rights attorney for 30 years. There is no systemic racism in our government. You have black mayors, and he's sitting there telling you that the race car is still alive and well. That is a lie when it comes to democratic cities. You can say the same thing for Chicago, the same thing for Los Angeles. Minorities are everywhere in this country. By the way, we had a black president, I think, in 2008, for eight years. You know, I, I, what's ironic to me in that soundbite, Leo, is that I think a lot of people would love for someone to come in and flip over the tables uh, in Albany and other places. And he, the mayor said that's what he wanted to do. And I think that black New Yorkers, white New Yorkers, Hispanic New Yorkers would like to see a shakeup for the better. So that to me is separate from this idea that, you know, I, which I think, you know, I, it's, you have just stated you think is disingenuous that he's being pushed back on or not able to do his job because he hired so many black people to be part of his leadership team. And that's the game that the Democrats play, identity politics. There is a move to try to get the governor to remove Alvin Brack. They can't. You know why, Martha? Because of his skin color. Identity politics has boxed in the Democrats, and it allows them to hold incompetent people, allow them to remain in office. Alvin Bragg is incompetent. His skin color keeps him in office. Uh, I just want to play one last soundbite. This is President Biden in the last presidential election talking to someone who has become a very important person to speak to for people running for high office, Charlemagne the God. And this is from The Breakfast Club way back then. Watch. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact I want something for my community. But a quick response to that, if you would, Leo. Very quickly, uh, Fox has video. That statement is the reason why I left the Democrats and became a Republican and voted for Trump. I, did, I said on Sean Hannity's show, that's the reason why I left. That statement is racist. Leo, thank you. Always great to have you with us, sir.
Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.